In addition to structural abnormalities, fetal cardiac arrhythmias can be benign or life-threatening. This is a cine clip of a fetus with premature atrial contractions. This is an in-mode recording obtained through the right atrial wall and the left ventricular wall. Notice the premature atrial contractions are followed by a long pause represented by the yellow arrows. Identification of premature atrial contractions is best accomplished by placing the in-mode cursor through the atrial walls. This is an example of a 20-week fetus with a supraventricular atrial tachycardia of 245 beats per minute. Notice the ascites. This is a cine clip from the fetus with supraventricular atrial tachycardia. The four-chamber view also demonstrates a ventricular septal defect. This is an in-mode image obtained through the atrial and ventricular walls. The atrial and ventricular rates are identical at 245 beats per minute. This is a normal heart rate of 140 beats per minute in a fetus that is 18 weeks, 6 days. The recording is a pulse Doppler waveform from the ventricular inflow and outflow tracks. This Doppler recording demonstrates bradycardia of 60 beats per minute to return to a normal baseline heart rate. This is a cine clip demonstrating a normal rhythm followed by the bradycardia described above in the previous slides. A third category of bradycardia is complete heart block, observed in fetuses with a structural heart defect or maternal antibodies transferred across the placenta from a mother with connective tissue disease. The cine clip illustrates a heart block with the atrial chambers contracting at a different rate than the ventricular chambers. This is an in-mode recording through the atrial and ventricular walls demonstrating two distinct different rates independent of each other. In this example, the ventricular rate, demonstrated by the green lines, is 63 beats per minute. The atrial rate, demonstrated by the yellow lines, is 150 beats per minute. 